Hi all you lovely kings, queens, and in-betweens. My name is Elaine, and today I'm going to be talking about Casting Shadows, the Ice Storm expansion. This expansion adds two new playable characters, Talon Lightfeather and Frost Polar Paw, as well as three new hex tiles, Mushroom Bog, where if you deal damage to an enemy while you are on this hex tile, increase that damage by one. Desolate Glacier, if you deal damage to an enemy while you are on this hex tile, you may spend one blue orb to freeze that enemy. It's also Frost Polar Paw's home hex tile. And finally, floating temple. If you deal damage to an enemy while you are on this hex tile, you may spend one red orb to stun that enemy. It's also Talon Lightfeather's home hex tile. Because of these additions, you are now able to play the game with up to six players on an expanded map. It also introduces a freeze and stun mechanic. These are status effects. Freeze stops you from traveling to another hex tile and stun limits the number of resource dice you can roll. You can only be affected by one freeze token and one stun token at a time. There's no stacking. If you start your turn with a freeze token on your player board, you are frozen and cannot travel during your turn. If another player freezes you during your turn, you cannot spend any of your remaining action points to travel. If you started your turn frozen, you get to remove the freeze token from your player board at the end of your turn. If you start your turn with the stun token on your player board, you are stunned and can only roll four resource die at the start of your turn instead of five. If another player stuns you during your turn, the player who stunned you may choose and remove a resource from your resource pool. If you started your turn stunned, remove the stun token from your player board at the end of your turn. The expansion also adds a number of new spells for you to add to your spell book, including counter spells and a handful of new companions which you could befriend. Examples include the Mask Monkey. Each time you travel, you may remove a cursed crystal from your resource pool. And the Scaled Alchemist. Each time you collect a resource card, gain 2 HP. Now that I've reviewed the new mechanics and everything you're going to find in this expansion, I want to take a few moments to provide my final thoughts. Like all unstable games, games, this game has really awesome kawaii art. I love the art for the new characters especially, but everything is beautiful and thematic. To build off of what I was saying before about the art being of high quality and something that really draws me to the game, in all unstable games, are the quality of the components included in the game. The meeples are finely carved, the cards are made of a nice thick stock, and the cardboard used on all of the cardboard components is thicker and stronger and helps your game last for a while even after several plays. I like that this game is pretty shelf friendly as well. It's a little thinner than the main game box making it maybe half the size in terms of thickness. It's pretty budget friendly as well. It tends to hover around a $15 price point. It's easy to teach. It's easy to learn. It's family friendly. There's nothing that parents wouldn't want their kids to see. There's nothing thematically that parents would object to. Younger players might need a little more help remembering the rules and interpreting them. And if you're playing with someone who's really young, they might need help with reading and math. But other than that, you shouldn't have a problem. Things tend to feel a little chaotic since you might be getting attacked on multiple fronts, for example. But other than that, I don't really have anything bad to say about this game. I like the expansion a lot. I think it adds a lot of depth to an already good base game. And I think it's something you should all pick up if you enjoy the base game. And if you haven't tried out the base game, I would suggest checking that out and then considering adding this expansion to your collection. To help with that, I've included links to both games down below in the description. They come at no extra cost to you and they really help out the channel. And with that, I'm going to conclude my review of Casting Shadows the Ice Storm expansion. What did you think of my review? Did I leave anything out? Do you agree or disagree with what I have to say? Have you tried out Casting Shadows and what do you think of it? What do you think of Unstable Games? Let me know down below in the comments. I always like to know what you kings, queens, and in-betweens think. And if you like what you saw here today, please smash that like button until it's blue. Subscribe, ring that bell so you'll always know what's up, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye guys!